What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Neek. Stop playing with me. That's where we at. Let's get it. The background. This Lady is the talking. Excuse that, but. 24. Excuse that, but I just had to get this off my chest while I was traveling. I couldn't wait a day or wait until I got to my destination because I just, you know how you get to a point where you just fed up. I feel like last time I posted a video about this situation and it was public, I was just so fed up and I feel like I'm constantly, I, I'm just so tired of being blamed for every single thing. First of all, I made my YouTube video of me vlogging to get Kaiser ready for his dad's engagement. Explain. Yep. I made a video, y'all know, y'all see my vlog, and it just started this whole thing of me getting Kaza ready for his dad's engagement party. Um, after I made that video, I guess you guys started commenting under it, peeping that basically explained it by Kaza outfit for his engagement party. And I had to pick up the slack. <laughs> that was shade. <laughs> I did not buy Kaza outfit for his engagement party. This is what Lena is talking about when she say, Nick know what she be doing. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> like always, for his engagement party. Watch, mind you, in that first video, I didn't say nothing disrespectful. I wasn't shady. I'm just simply vlogging my day, and this is what's going on in my day. So that's why I spoke on it. Your attention, please. From there, um, from there, people start making comments. I guess y'all went into explaining Lena's comments and start making comments on them not getting cause or nothing for the engagement party. From there, I seen a video where Lena went on live talking about how what I stated in my video wasn't correct and that we, me and my mom, was the reason that, um, so that's your before? me and my mom was the reason why, or my mom, so say, was the reason why Kaza didn't have an outfit for the engagement party. First of all, I feel like as a dad, I mean, I'm so tired of people blaming, like explain it so f I'm sorry, but first of all, it, it definitely wasn't her responsibility to get the outfit at all. I just want to put that out there. Fucking spoiled, honestly. I'm a good ass baby mama. I don't give him no problems. I don't ask him for nothing. Splain don't pay for shit. Lena don't pay for shit. It seems like the only time she can speak up is when um, some shit hit the fan and it's public. Because it's a lot of stuff that go on behind closed doors that I spare these people with. And the only time they can speak up is when something hit the fan. These people act a certain way off of camera. Splain does not help with shit. He doesn't provide nothing for Kaza. I can't remember last time he didn't pay for a haircut for Kaza. But it seems like every time some they get caught up with some shit or trying to leave or they get caught leaving Kaza out of something or not making Kaza a priority um shit want to hit the fan all of a sudden both of them want to say oh Neek don't never have Kaza her mom just because I have support and just because I have help they think that's a bad thing or whatever either way if I didn't have my mama I don't know who the fuck would be helping me with Kaza because at the end of the day explain ain't there he never is like he don't help with nothing y'all when I tell you nothing he doesn't go and see Kaza I'm in Louisiana if I can count, and I feel like this is stuff that I don't even have to prove to y'all. I feel like this is stuff that I shouldn't have even have to prove to nobody or say because I know what I do for my son, and I know when I'm there for my son. Splain has never made it to a surgery, a doctor's appointment, a fucking recital at school, a, a, a school play. Splain Excuse me, Nate. King, and you know you're my guy. <laughs> this is why it'd be hard to react to, like, niggas you fuck with. Do we hang out? No. Do we call each other? Absolutely not. But do I think he's a great guy? Yes. So therefore, I'm going to hold him accountable. What are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? This is not the first time she's complained about this. This is not the first time. What is going on? No. That's why this is happening. That's why she threw a shady ass palm tree in the beginning of this video now i understand it has never showed up for nothing and we invite and not showing up to a surgery a doctor's appointment or nothing come on now uh, king's argument is probably gonna be it wasn't his idea for um and i could be wrong because i'm really not up to date but it could have been um because he always wanted kaza to grow up around his parents even if they together or not, I don't think he believe in, I guess, putting them off on the grandparents. But it sounds like to me, Neek is in a place where she needs some help. And um, he not there. Not even just financially, just in general. 
going to every single thing. But guarantee you, when Kaza go over there for the one day or the two day that he there, they gonna put the camera in his face. Regardless of the situation, uh, this whole shit started is because they didn't buy Kaza an outfit for their engagement party. My mama dropped Kaza off to that engagement party. All the kids had on fucking suits and long ass dresses. It's no way that Kaza shouldn't have had an outfit for y'all engagement party. And that is not my fault. It's not my fault. That it's not her fault at all. And she's absolutely correct. It's not my fault that my mama left the outfit, supposedly, even if y'all did. Why y'all asking her to get an outfit? If y'all don't do shit else for Kaza, y'all couldn't even get him an outfit for y'all own fucking event. It does not make sense. And yet, y'all still find a way. Even even after, because shit, at one point, I wanted to leave Kaza home. He didn't have no haircut. He wasn't prepared. He didn't have no outfit. Kaza should have stayed at home. Nobody made it a priority to make sure that he was there. They wanted me to drop, they wanted my mama and me. Because every time something is laid back on my mama, I take care of my mama and Kaz. So every time so she, they see time trying to make comments about, oh, my mama, my mama, my mama do this. Yeah, my mama do that because I'm taking care of both of them. Even after I be the good baby mama that I always am, the easy ass, easy peasy, let it everything slide, baby mama that I am, and go out and get Kaza an outfit for their event, it's still a fucking problem. Now y'all trying to shine light, trying to make it seem like I was being negative about it. No. That would have pissed me the fuck off. No cap. Because first of all, Mama ain't have to drive to drop that boy off. That's number one. Number two, even if she did forget the outfit, y'all absolutely should have been prepared. And the fact that Lena said that next time they won't ask for an outfit, well, next time y'all should go get them too. Like, that's just, if y'all don't want no drama, y'all gonna have to do a little more than what you're doing. For real. No, y'all just didn't want people to know what really goes on behind closed doors. Y'all want to put on this persona for the internet and make it seem like, oh, we're always there. Oh, Kaiser. Y'all use Louisiana as a fucking excuse for everything. No, that's not the excuse. Because if so, if somebody wanted to, they would. And they don't never show up for Kaiser. I Kaiser stay in Louisiana, but guarantee every fucking week, I'm in Louisiana. Every weekend, every three, four days. I didn't went to Louisiana and stayed there for five days. I had to text plan and say, hey, what's up? Like, why you ain't hit your son up? Why you don't call him it's been many times cause have been telling me like oh you know my dad doesn't love me this that, and the third oh he oh, leave no. me out how come he loved this that person oh, more than me no. it's been multiple times i didn't been in louisiana for a whole entire week and ain't get a call a text or nothing for fucking playing yeah king y'all relationship y'all little situation ship here is fucking up the relationship with your son my mama wasn't there at least that's how she's making it sound it was just me and Kaza that by ourselves so I don't want to hear this story like they try to put on this persona and I say they ask every single time I don't ask for shit literally I don't ask for shit at all the least y'all could have did was got my fucking baby an outfit for y'all engagement party y'all want to lean back on us and try to make excuses and blame us for everything when he wasn't put together this nigga you supposed to be so called a fucking dad you so fucking a uh, hoopty who a uh, super dad but you didn't have you when the last time you paid for a haircut make sure this man this cop this boy had a haircut like you don't do nothing and lena you overstep like you need to stay the fuck in your place bitch before you get put in your place hey bitch You better stay in your place before you get put in <clears throat> position. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> nah, Lena's explanation of all of this after listening to what Neek's saying, yeah, Lena definitely. And don't get me wrong, Lena speaks better. Y'all know, uh, King ain't talking about nothing. That nigga don't want to. He like to do what he like to do, do how, how he want to do it, and that's it, okay? He's not the best explainer, but I still, she, she, we would have had to wait for his explanation because Elena's wasn't no better. Because at this point, you just sound entitled as fuck. Talk yourself. You want to support the shit that that nigga is doing. If anything, if I'm a fiance and um, I'm a woman, just being a woman in general, I'm, I'm shopping for this. I'm shopping for that. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I ask my dude, do the kids have outfits? For, like, it, it is. First thing. And I know I may look like this, but I'm a woman. What we doing? This. Okay, what the children wear? Matter of fact, if we going to wear cream and red, my daughter's going to have on red dresses. 
my son gonna have a cream suit like his faja you know what i'm saying if if i were a dad like well hell even me if i had a son you know i'm gonna have on my cream suit and so is he you know what i'm saying so i don't even know yeah i don't even know why that is a thing it's just, do the kids have outfits or do they have something to wear? I feel like, Lena, as a woman, you should have stepped in and got caught or something. If you're supposed to be this fiancé as a woman, you well, should have... also, Neek got to hold the accountability of, I guess, not showing up sometimes. Like, it's planned to be a certain way, but she don't show up. But it's starting to seem like she don't feel like she should because of shit like this. Or she ain't getting no damn help in anyway. So it's just more so like... Like, I don't owe you anything. And both of y'all egos is just all in the way. All y'all. Make sure that his kids was taken care of. Because if y'all getting married, he's going to be a part of your life. I don't care if it was y'all, you and you and Splain's day and this, that, and the third. At the end of the day, the kids are going to always be there. Kaiser is going to always be there. At the end of the day, Kaiser is a part of Splain. So it should not be no reason for him to be left out of anything at all. And that's just what pisses me off because I still got this boy ready. When y'all literally did not have an outfit for my son, didn't make sure he had a haircut, and then try to still get online and put it and paint it as if though I'm a bad mom. And I hate that. Splain get every second that he can can prove that I'm a bad fucking mom, he tries to. And bitch, I am the best baby mama that a nigga can ask for. I don't ask for nothing. I take care of my son. My son is well taken. We the best baby mamas too over here. We don't ask for shit. I don't need it. You can keep it. <laughs> what you talking about? Carol, he don't have to do nothing. Splain won't lift a finger to pay for nothing. Like, won't even pay for a birthday party, but show up first with the camera in everybody's face trying to make it seem like he did something. The way Dang, come on, man. He had to pay for Kyle's birthday party. Like, come on, let's be real. We don't, I don't really Wait, speak whoa, whoa, whoa. about the shit that going pay for Kaza birthday party and everybody face trying to make it seem like he did something. Dwayne had to pay for Kaza birthday party. I thought that's what she said. Oh, man. Oh, man. Like, come on, let's be real. Oh, I know they eating his ass up now. Hold on, give me a second. Lena needs to stay in her place. Keep her mouth shut when it comes to Kaza point by period. You can tell Nick is really fed up. King is a narcissist and Lena just blind as bullshit. Dwayne paying for Kaz's birthday party speaks volumes about the type of man he is a real man. Um, she said, ain't no man hanging around me and being a bad dad. Clock that t -neak. So he can't get the baby a haircut but can have engagement parties. See how Dwayne is there but didn't put in his two cents. Lane. All right, y'all. One thing about it, two things for sure. Y'all wanted me to teach you about YouTube, so here we go. Listen. Y'all want to learn how to do YouTube. I think you all should learn how to do YouTube or content creation in general. But in order for you to do so, you have to know what you're doing. Now, these are only three ebooks that I'm just now starting off with, but I'm going to have a plethora for y'all in a minute. But Faceless Instagram Guide is the first one. Streaming Rich's Equipment Package is me showing y'all all of my streaming equipment for, um, my setup and the Canva playbook teaches you how to use Canva. Canva is used for all kinds of things, editing, flyers, um, intros, outros, uh, thumbnails. It's going to teach you a thing or two. Okay. So if y'all want it, tap in. I only got them right now for $19.99. Ain't going to hurt nobody. Burger and a little fry these days, even for McDonald's. It's $20. Okay. <laughs> um, don't add a drink and an apple pie. Yeah. It's going about 30, but yeah. Tap in, man. But in the meantime, in between time, enjoy the video. Link in the pinned comment. It needs to take notes. Yeah, I agree with that. The nigga ain't come out and be like, I paid for Kyle's birthday. You know what I'm saying? He, he didn't do we it. Don't, I don't really speak about the shit that go on behind closed doors. Y'all don't do shit. And I'm not going to lie. She is, this right here is fed up. This ain't even anger. It's most of like, y'all got me fucked up because of what y'all be doing. You know, this is some accountability got to be taken from for him. So stop trying to put on this persona like y'all do. Y'all don't show up. Y'all don't do shit. And then don't try to stop trying to make it seem like it's because he in Louisiana. Because every time my son have an event, I'm showing up. Nigga, you don't show up. And Lena, stop fucking, stop. And yes, I did text her and ask her to stop speaking about that school situation. Because she's a fucking annoying. And all she do is speak and speak and step out of her place. She need to learn to stay in her fucking place. And I'm so sick of it. Y'all trying to make everything about us. Every time, every time some shit happen, it's Neek fault. Every time some shit happen, it's Neek's mama fault. No, take accountability. Learn how to fucking take accountability and learn from it. 
And the reason why I even made that second video when I was in the car and I was in that brown and I explained the story is because Lana got on live after me and her had had a conversation behind closed doors and after me and Spring had had a conversation behind closed doors. You speak in false stuff, trying to save face. Don't get a beat up trying to fucking save face, getting on live, spilling the tea because I don't... Girl, she, listen. Lena, tread lightly. I don't know if you can fight. I hope you can. But hey, you just had a baby. I don't know what's going on. But I know Neek. Baby. <laughs> but please. I don't know Neek. I'm not saying I seen her put them paws. But she sounded like she ready to put them paws. Okay. And we ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, this shit just pisses me off. I'm so over saving they ass they don't do shit, but we'll be quick to put the fucking camera in Kaza's face. Kaza just went there three weeks ago, the whole spring break. He spent his whole spring break at these people house. I explained, hey, can Kaza run out of clothes? He's going out of his clothes. Can you buy you can you buy him a new wardrobe? Can you get go to Walmart, get him like ten pairs of shorts and ten shirts for the summer? It's getting hot outside. You know what this man did? Sing him home, empty handy, again. I, I I, it's send him home empty candy, cash out my mama ten a hundred dollars. Like Boy, if King was in front of me, I had to kick him in his knee. <laughs> I have to muay tie that nigga. He'd probably knock me out. But uh, come on man. Some accountability gotta be taken here. Definitely don't want to ruin a relationship with the baby. Got the Wayne pan for the birthday party, King. This is some shit I would tell him if I was in front. Come on, no, no, <laughs> please no. Like the fuck, do kid a hundred dollars get? You don't do nothing. Like I'm so tired of sad, it's saving face. People just stepping over boundaries, and then mind you, this whole situation happened. You know, it's some type of underlying issue, y'all. Like literally, we I was blogging, getting my baby ready something so fucking innocent and they took it and they trying to spin it around and make it seem like oh i'm bitter baby nobody's oh, no, bitter no no, no 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 so i don't think neek understands the magnitude of what happens when she posts and says things right yeah i'm getting kaza outfit for the uh, his daddy engagement party because he ain't get him an outfit. <laughs> that's that's shady. So it's underlying for both of you. Like, I think that you would have been fine though had it not been a had it not been an issue with them and your mother. Because I think she looking at it like my mama drove you know all the way to um you know where you are where they are whatever. And she forgot the outfit. Cool. Y'all should have already been prepared. But now you blaming us? So I completely see where she coming from on that note. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I, I see where she's coming from. Here. People get sick. Nobody's bitter. Honestly, I don't even say shit in the video. When y'all when asked me to get him ready, I didn't complain. I didn't come to y'all. I didn't do nothing. So I'm just so tired of people making this narrative like uh, King and Lena. Stop talking Lena. about all y'all. Just stop talking about each other. Making this narrative like, oh, I'm trying to rain on y'all fucking shitty ass parade because that's never the case. Oh my god. So, all in all, um, I'm over speaking about it. Like, I can really go on and on. When Casa go over there, it's always some weird shit going on. I just had to check explain about um, Lena talking to Casa in a kind of way while he was, she didn't even know he was on the phone with my mama. And my mama, he was talking to my mama, and my mama was telling him, I mean, he was telling my mama that he hadn't hurt himself or failed or something like that. And Lana gonna say, oh, Kaiser, just get over it already. Like, bitch, you don't speak to no child like that. It's always some weird shit going on. It's really always some weird shit going on. And that's why he don't like even going. Girl, Lana gonna get beat up. Going over there, but I don't want to speak about that. And I still be forcing him I to go. I don't want to go over there. Over there because I want him to build a relationship with you. not him. forcing him to go over there either. All of this is just. You see, certain personal shit just got when it hit the internet and they be so mad at us for talking about it. But the thing is, when y'all put this out there, like it just be, and I've done it before. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I've learned my lessons too. But, and some shit I don't give a fuck about. It, it needed to be addressed. You know what I'm saying? But when these opinions start forming, you know, that's the issue. That's this so much. Oh my God, so much has happened in uh, 18 minutes for me. 
<laughs> that. But at this point, it's just getting overwhelming. Like, y'all look for a nigga to do everything. Y'all don't do shit. And then want to fucking get praised on the internet. Y'all wonder why y'all get bashed. Every time they get bashed, they hitting me up. So I'm like, hey, can you stop doing this? Hey, can you stop doing that? Y'all, If y'all was doing what y'all had to do in fucking real life, nobody would see every bullshit y'all excuse or bullshit y'all had to bring up. Nobody would be complaining. Do what you gotta do in real life. That way you don't have to worry about what people saying about you when they find out how you really are. She making a lot of sense. I'm not gonna lie. Period. He should have had a fucking outfit. Period. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Fact. It's not it's not our event. It's y'all event. Explain you as a dad, as a man, that's your only fucking son. Do fucking better. You need to do better. Because he don't got to be around. Do fucking better. You should have had see, him. Then it's going to get to the point where King going to start doing video talking about I can't see my son no more and shit. Outfit first you for your problems. outfit. This, and this shit is just so annoying. because Nobody's worse than CJ So Cool and Roy T. I just want to put that out there. Now somehow I'm getting blamed because he ain't had no fucking outfit. Or my mama getting blamed because he ain't had no outfit. That don't even make sense. Do better. Lena, stop, stop supporting the shit that he do. Do better. If that's your husband, you want him to be better, make him be a better dad. How about you do that? You spend all that time sitting on fucking live, yapping your big ass mouth, but you need to do better. And maybe speak, turn that energy and make your nigga do better. Because you're always talking about what the mama don't do and how the mama ain't there. Make sure your nigga doing what he's supposed to do. Because one thing about it, a, never, a nigga can never sit around me and be fucking on me and um, be a bad dad. Period. So, I don't know. You you, you, you putting your energy... I ain't getting fucked on. I'm just saying. No, that's how she is spitting. Let her cook. Towards me and talking about getting online. Gonna lie, she need to eat the... Uh, she, she need to eat the sound on this. Okay? Because you could, you could tell she's fed up. It's going to have to be some changes made, you know, on both ends still for me. But... She making a lot of sense. Saying all this shit, wasting your breath, you should be telling that shit to your nigga. Period. And I'm tired of speaking on this shit. Like, explain, do better. You don't do shit. Come on, let's be real. You don't want nobody to find out that you don't do shit. And that's why you're trying to save face and go online trying to make it and try to redirect the situation on me being a bad mom. I'm not a bad mom. And I don't even have to get on here and explain what the fuck I do for my son because I know I do for my son and I'm there for my son. That's not even something we're going to talk about. That's not even proof. I ain't even got to prove that. I ain't got to make no video. I ain't got to make no statements. I ain't got to do nothing about me being a good mom to my son that's that's just that's that's giving see y'all y'all gotta do the most to try to make it to prove y'all gotta shove the camera in his face every time he around for that two seconds just to make it seem like y'all involved when y'all not like let him clock the tea come on now anyways it's clocked um that's pretty much it like i'm so sick of people speaking on me girl like let it go like and and i'm just gonna leave it at that it's a lot of stuff i got receipts every oh, time i oh. check explain about something every time we had uh, every offline conversation and whatever i got a whole bunch of shit in my phone but and, and i be feeling like we don't even have to be having to do this i hate doing this and one thing you're not gonna do is just try to play with me and try to switch the situation on me because every time y'all do some weird shit y'all try to put it back on me and blame us y'all need to start looking in the mirror and really taking accountability for what the fuck y'all do and since y'all be so quick to say that y'all communicated with my mama and that, oh, y'all had an understanding and, we, and, and my mama knew, I just didn't know because I don't have Kaiser 24A. And we'll let my mama talk. I'll put her on FaceTime so that she'll put her two cents in because obviously y'all feel like y'all y'all be talking to my mama all the time and y'all got some type of agreement. When shit, I'll call his mama. And his mama I don't know how she having a full conversation like this with all them people in there. No mic, no nothing. And well, probably a mic on that camera. I'm only saying that because I'd be nervous. Child, I have to go on a corner by myself. I'm going to let you know exactly how everything be laying out. But this is my mom. People be looking at you. Get the fuck out my face. So, I'm literally, I'm literally on the phone with his mama right now. Okay, so first oh, that's of all, uh, just a quick verbal. They called me like a week and a half and said they were having a party. Um, can I bring Kaiser to Texas, which I always do that even though it's four hours. I do that. No, ma'am. She need to stop doing that. She needs to stop doing that. King, she needs to stop doing that. Y'all need to go get your son. Real shit. That, this is why y'all got so much drama. Because it, they're doing the most over there. And that's, yeah, I see what's going on now.
is clear. I was trying to call I said, yes, I'll bring him. Never said what kind of party it was. The, the, the night before, and I have the text messages I can show you guys, he said, do you have any slacks, the white shirt? I said, I should have some. I'll check when I get home. Now, that next morning, I was really busy trying to get everything yeah, together. Well, and get Texas, I texted him and said, I forgot to look. I couldn't find it. He said, that's fine. I'll get Kaiser out there. One hour before I had to drop Kaiser off to the event, then he asked me to pick Kaiser up from the event. They told me I wasn't able to get it. Can you get it? So I had to call. What? Texas, I texted him and said, I forgot to look. I couldn't find it. He said, that's fine. I'll get Kaiser out there. One hour before I had to drop Kaiser off to the event, then he asked me to pick Kaiser up from the event. They told me I wasn't able to get it. Can you get it? So I had No. No. I ain't gonna lie, I was <laughs> Cinco de Negro, I was drunk as hell. And I seen King's um IG post and I was like, bro, I said, I don't even remember. <clears throat> but basically I said something to him about um he's a good dad, is what I said. And I don't know what made me do it, because I was I honestly didn't see it till the next day because he hit me back, but that's besides the point. Had I known this, I would have said something totally different to him because he probably would look at this video and be like, bitch, that's not what you said in the DMs. You are absolutely correct. Because I didn't see none of this. Bro. And once again, y'all, I know you don't like friends that keep it real for some reason today in this world, but... Baby, I got to be honest with you. Her mama shouldn't be doing none of that. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. It, it's cool to meet halfway. It's cool I buy a flight, you buy a flight. Pick them up. No, no, no. Drop them off. Get the outfit. Pick them up for your event. And y'all, you and Lena, don't see how... They would be upset. That's a huge inconvenience. Not only that, you said that you would be able to get the outfit. Then last minute, it's like, I can't get it. Can you do it? And that's the hour before. Kaiser would not have been there. Point. But I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. <laughs> he wouldn't have been there. Ain't no way. Not only that, it's about me and King, not Kaiser. Or she said not the kids. She didn't single him out. But it's it's about me and him, not the kids. I don't think the kids should have been there. I don't think he should have troubled her her mom about this. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I hope he drop a video at this point now. I I, I need more information. I need to call Nick because at this point, <laughs> if I don't call Nick to get it, I didn't have time to stop. We're just making it to Texas and I'm exhausted. Yes. So Nick had to, she said, what is it? I asked him what is it. He says our um, engagement party and he was like, Oh, no, mama, he's not going to an engagement party with just anything on. We didn't go get him an outfit. So we had 30 minutes to run to the mall, get Kaiser an outfit, um, to go with a shirt that he already had, and I got him to the event in time, and I picked him up that night. Um, Lena, I am tired of her trying to degrade my daughter as a mother because Nick takes good care of Kaiser. Nick pays for children. She pays. Nick take care of me. Nick is here every week. At least two or three days out, we taking her son to school. He is in a, one of the best schools in Baton Rouge um, right now, and everybody knows why he's going to school here. Who better to help take care of your child than your mother? Somebody who loves that child just like you. So, Lena, you stop degrading my baby as a mother because you don't have help. Much more I can say, but I'm not going to do it because I still love him. Like he's like a son to me. But keep that little um, stuffy lady. Keep them lips closed before we before I start talking because I know don't talk. <laughs> okay. Alright, love you. Love you too. It's her saying, I'm on the phone with his mama now. <laughs> his mama about to call him and get on his ass. Listen, y'all. I mean, I'm not a damn third parent guru, but we ain't got no drama. In the beginning, it was it was trying to brew up. But I had to make a play a decision. I don't want to deal with this shit. So let's make a system, especially because we're not involving the laws. Let's make a system, set it, abide by it, 
keep it moving. It is totally different because we have teenagers and uh, Kaiser is younger. Um, but at some point, he won't be. He's going to grow up and he's going to remember all this. So I just want King to consider that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying Nick per perfect. I'm sure he'll bring out some shit um, that I'm going to be like, oh, Nick, what the fuck is this? You know, but. Uh, they have to like, I don't think these are feelings either. Um, I don't think nobody want nobody. I think they Nick needs some help and King is focusing. He has his focus somewhere else and it's not solely on his son. That's just the truth about it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all this down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.